In this video, I'll show you how to use the scanner of your Canon TS3720. I'll show you how to make a simple copy and also how to scan and get your results on your smartphone. So let's get started by the easiest way, which is to make a simple copy. Take your page, put it facing down on this scan glass with the top part of your page towards the left side. Then we need to align this corner of the paper with this corner where you see a small arrow. Glide until both are touching. Then you can close the scan lid. By the way, if you want to um, scan, let's say, a book, the great thing about this scan lid is that it's able to lift. I don't know if you notice here, but the hinges are lifting. Therefore, you can place a quite thick document under here. Power on the printer. If you don't see anything on the screen, just press OK. And now you're going to see here LTR. This is just to confirm that whatever is over here is letter size, US letter size. All right. So once you've done this, the easiest thing you can do is to simply press black if you want a black and white copy or color. I'll make a color copy. Just press once on the button. It will scan and the paper will come out here. Make sure you have some paper inserted in the input tray. Usually it takes around 20 seconds for a color copy. Perfect. Now, what if you want to make multiple copies, not just one? Well, it's very easy. So once you have inserted your paper here, let's say I want to make three black and white copies. Well, I'll press three times on the black button. And you see here, number three will be clipping. And this is it. There will be three different copies. If you want to cancel at any time, you can press the stop button and it will stop scanning and it will stop printing if you made a mistake. Now let me show you how to get your scan from here to your phone. First thing is to connect your phone to the printer. And for this, we need to connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. Very easy. It can be done in just a few minutes. So you'll need to go here on the control panel and you see there is this little icon on the top left corner. This is the Wi-Fi icon. If you want to connect this printer to your Wi-Fi network, we need to put it in pairing mode. And how do you do this? Well, first of all, if you don't see this Wi-Fi icon, you need to press this wireless button until uh, you see this icon appearing. Then to put it in pairing mode, you simply need to keep press this, um, this button over here to ovals during two seconds then lift your finger and the Wi-Fi symbol here will start blinking, signifying that your printer is now ready to get paired. Go on the App Store or Google Play Store and you need to find the Canon print app. Search for this app. It's made by Canon Inc. Then go ahead and open the app. Once you're on the app, this is the main screen. You may have to type uh, to tap a few buttons before getting to this main screen. Simply accept whatever they ask you. Press on add slash switch on the bottom right side. Then press on register printer. Wait a few seconds and your printer should appear in this list. If it if it's not appearing in the list, don't worry. Press if printer cannot be found then it's important to click no when they ask you this question. Select auto connection. They'll ask you to press the button we just pressed previously. And since we already did it, we're going to press yes. And then check this uh, box and press next again. And then you're going to have this pop-up screen. Usually it takes around 10 to 15 seconds to appear. Press OK. Press connect. Press yes. And now enter the Wi-Fi password of your network. Press OK. And now the printer will connect to your internet, to your Wi-Fi, because we need to connect it before being able to print and scan. Wait a few seconds. 
Then over here, press yes. This simply means that the printer will update itself automatically when there's a new update. Here you can click the X on the top right corner. You're gonna get the green check mark telling you everything is okay. And click again on this X button, press okay. Let's say I want to scan this document. So we're gonna open the scan lid. You're gonna place the document with the face you want to scan facing down. And then you're going to align this corner of your document with this corner, the top left corner of the printer. Simply glide it so both of these corners are touching. Then you can close the scan lid. On the application, go over here, press scan. Change settings. And here we have a few settings you can change. You have data format so if you're scanning a text document probably you would want it in pdf so select pdf instead of jpeg original type this is mostly um, to select documents or photo here's a document so i'll leave it like this color if you want your print in uh, your scan in color or in black and white and finally original size here you can select which size is your document Letter size is the biggest scan you can do, so I'll just leave it there, although my document is smaller. Once this is done, go back and then press scan. Usually it takes around 14-15 seconds to complete this task. Sometimes quicker if your document is smaller. If you have a document with multiple pages and you want to combine them all in one single PDF document, go ahead, remove this document to this page here and place the next one and press scan and you can add multiple pages to that document. In my case, I just want to scan this, so I'll press exit. And file will be saved on your smartphone. Press OK. And on this page, you'll be able, if you click on the top right corner here, to share it. If you press this button on social media, email, stuff like that. Or if you type the three dots, you can click close and you'll be back on the main menu. On the main menu, you'll also see, by the way, at all time, your printer, if you click on it, Here you can click skip survey if you see this. But if you click on um, your printer, you'll have a few more options that were hidden from you from the main menu. So this is about it. This is how you set up your phone, iPhone or Android with your Canon PIXMA 3720. If you like this video, please type a comment down below, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll also put links in the description if you want to get ink and paper for this exact pr printer so it's easier for you. And you also support my channel by doing so. See you in the next one.